Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to go from a percent to a decimal. And we have uh, two simple ex examples I want to show you first. First of all, 65%. What does that really mean? Well, percent really means per 100. So if we were going to write this out the long way, it would be 65 over 100. This is, these are two equivalent numbers. 65% meaning 65 per 100. But we know a fraction is really division right here. So if we wanted to figure this out the long way and go from percent to decimal, we would take 100 on the outside. We put the top dog in the dog house. And we can do a division problem. Put the decimal up there, add a zero. 100 goes into 656 times. 6 times 100 is 100, up 6 times 100 is 600, sorry. We do the subtraction, we get 50, add another 0 and bring it down. 100 into 500 goes 5 times, 5 times 100 is 500. Do the subtraction and we have our decimal. So 65% equivalent to 65 over 100, which is equal to 0.65 or 65 hundredths, and this is our decimal. But we know that there's a really shortcut way of doing this whole process without doing the whole division problem. If we look at the 65% and just imagine the decimal to be here and move two places to the left and add the decimal there, we do get the same answer. 0.65 or 65 over 100 or 65 hundredths. Uh, let's do the same thing with 250%. We start at the end, go 1, 2, add our decimal right there, and we get 2.50 or 2 and 50 hundredths. Okay, what about these examples? We have a negative three-tenths percent. That's how that's read. Sometimes you'll see you'll have a decimal and a percent in the same number. Well, what do we do there? The same thing. We start from the decimal, we move two places to the left, we add in our zero, put the, the decimal in its new place, and don't forget your negative sign. So what's our answer now? Well, just rewrite it so it's neater. So changing a percent to a decimal, moving two places to the left, we have tens, hundredths, thousands. This becomes a negative three thousandths. Let's do the same thing with 4.5. We're going to take that decimal, we're going to move it two places to the left, and add that zero placeholder. Well, let's rewrite it so we can see what it is. So this number becomes now tens, hundreds, thousands, 45 thousandths. And that's our final answer. So now after you viewed this video, going from a percent to a decimal, I want you to look at the video that goes from a decimal to a percent. And that's it.